Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and the 2023 Pittsburgh Pro guest posing went off without a hitch today, and all the questions, or at least the big question that's been dangling, has been answered. It's been answered with this picture here. Big Rammy made it. He made it to the guest posing. Many conspiracy theorists speculate that his downfall was because last year he missed the Pittsburgh Pro. We're going to run through all of these pictures. We're going to take a look at a, a closer up shot of all of these guys, including Hunter Labrada there and uh, Nick Walker and uh, Sean Clarida. But I mean, the Pittsburgh Pro guest posings, guys, they are stuff of legend. Back in 2014, I mean, there were... You had Kai Green, Big Rammy himself was there, Phil Heath, the Olympia champion. I mean, that was a good group. That was, Hey, is it just me? Or is it Bob Chick? That's Bob Chickarello. Back in 2014, he was a young buck. And he, he, he didn't... Uh, he was there. He was there. He didn't disappoint. He did not disappoint. He looking bigger and buffer than ever. Hanging around, rubbing elbows with the big wigs as usual, including his buddy there, Sean Ray. Now I wonder if they are uh, they're staying at the same hotel room. Hmm. Anyway, anyway, back to more serious business. Yes, these guest posings, guys. I mean, you had the Olympia champion, but you know what? More than that, the special ingredients in those were Kai Green. He dressed up. He dressed up. People, even back then, guys that weren't Kai Green, but nowadays, guys, they, they're, they're probably afraid people will make fun of them. Kai Green did not give a rat's patootie. He did what he did. He was an individual, but yeah, you could imagine some of the guys, well, I'm not going to dress up. They're going to make fun of me. Be cool. Be like Kai Green. But I'm not going to be one of those guys, you know, oh, back in my day, back in yesteryears. It's 2023, baby, and we have shotguns, young guns, big guns, like Samson Douda. Take a look, guys. Take a look at his guest posings. The guest posings. Come on, Dylan. What are you doing? And, yeah, could be your future Mr. Olympia champion. You never know. You never know. And, of course, Nick Walker was there. Another big, huge name. So for those of you, th you know, people living in the past, you know, the, the names aren't as good as they used to be. Nick Walker, I think he is going to be one of the biggest names by the time his career is all said and done. He will have been a four-time Olympia champion. You never know. Come on, Billy. What are you doing? Uh, anyway, anyway, Sean Clarida, he was there slightly lukewarm about him entering the open class at the Olympia. I'd like to see him stay in 212, to be honest with you. You don't want to sacrifice any of those fine cuts, the finery detail. And another guy that I'm slightly lukewarm about, Hunter Labrada. I mean, hey, he looks good. He looks like he's ready to win a, a smaller show here. But he doesn't really, I don't know, come Olympia time, he just didn't impress me last year. That's all. Not, you know, I don't want to take anything away from this guy. Always wears a hat. And the big question, like I said, has been dangling in the air. Will Big Rammy make it? Yeah, here he is. Looks pretty good, too. You know. And the Olympia is a ways away. You know, there's time. There's time to put on some tissue. Tissue. How do you say that? Tissue. Yeah. And he's there. So expect no funny business this year. Although, you know, talk to some people, they would have you believe there's never been any funny business. But I mean, it's a funny business sport. The door's there for funny business. They're going to take that door every once in a while. Who's this guy? Mike Halushi? Is that like James Belushi? Come on, James Belushi. What are you doing in Red Heat? Or is it Raw Deal? I can't remember... You jingle all the way to James Belushi and Arnold. Come on, do it. Uh, yeah, imagine being this guy with all these legends. 
just being like a subpar, taking nothing away from the guy. But I mean, to sit up there on stage with all those legends, how would that feel? How would that feel, just being a a regular Joe in terms of being an IFBB professional? I guess that's how Bob Ciccarello feels everywhere he goes. But anyway, anyway, enough about picking on Bob. He had some good guns there. Um, yeah, I believe Derek Lunsford, just like last year, he stole the show. So pleased, he must be so pleased that he didn't listen to the naysayers. Oh, stay where you're put, Derek. Stay in your little package in 212. His upper body's massive, guys. It is as wide as Big Rammy's, for goodness sakes. His clavicle width? It's unbelievable. Taper? Tiny, 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 tiny. We may, in fact, be looking at the future Mr. Olympia, Derek. He is a believer. He is a believer. And for all of you doubters out there, he probably credits all of his success to his love for Hallelujah, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Pray to Jesus, Lord, Lord, Jesus. Oh, yes, yes. Loves his Jesus. Very keen on Jesus. He could probably talk about Jesus all day long. There's those people that just love their Jesus. They pray to him. They they speak praise. Hey, I'm not involved with the Jesus world, but if some people get power from that and they're only thinking good intentions, then Jesus it up. Jesus it up. If you know what I'm saying. Sing. Anyway, guys, just a little fun. Just a little fun. We can find humor in every situation of the earth. And if you can't, well, I guess it's time to pack it in. Hit thumbs up on the video. That's your 2023 Pittsburgh Pro guest posing. Looks like this year's bodybuilding is going to be action-packed. Hey, hey, Andrew Jacked, he could have been there. That would have been cool. Anyway, hit thumbs up, subscribe. Have a great one.